All right. Hi, everybody. We are live. This has been a long time since I did one of these. I hope you're doing amazing on this beautiful Saturday. We're going to wait for a little bit for uh, a lot more people to, to join in. And then we're going to start about five minutes. Um, maybe I have my amazing friend Bren <laughs> helping me out behind the camera. I don't know if we should maybe lower the yeah. hand fan music just, just a little bit. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're doing it. So today, this is just a little slice from the new challenge that uh, dropped in the We Rise app. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the five minute warm up. It's kind of like a Qigong style with a Sonata twist in it. And then we're gonna go into a 20 minute full body workout. Um, in the app, there's a mixture of like dumbbells and body weight and abs, but we're gonna keep it just body weight for this one so that it's accessible to, to everybody. See, and you need just a tiny little space. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna go into a five minute cool down yoga flow and then straight into our breath work meditation after that all right so get ready get your waters going you know what we uh, forgot to do <laughs> is to put a timer on <laughs> let's do that do you have that in your phone um i can find one <laughs> where do you get um because it, it would be hard to have that play on my phone and unless you yeah. want to time everything. Yeah, like, just want to tell me the time. Yeah. All right, hang on guys. Oh, so you don't have that interval timer? Uh, no, I don't. Do you have, oh wait, fuck, it's on your phone. Mm, it's okay, I guess you can just uh, just do it like on, uh... yeah, 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 here. Sorry guys, we'll be right with you. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and then it's, I'll, I'll check the plan and get it ready. It's five minutes to start. All right. Hang on guys, we're getting there. So, 20 minutes. Technical difficulties. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is uh, for the workout, we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna do seven exercises in total. I'm just setting up the interval timer here. We're gonna do three rounds. And then we're gonna have one minute rest between each round. So, that should put us at 22 minutes of working out. <laughs> All right, awesome. So then I'll just tell you one to so okay, get that perfect. started, but not quite yet because we're gonna warm up. All right, are we ready? Let me hear it. No, I can't hear Woo! it. Woo! <laughs> Britain is ready to hit that start button. All right, not quite yet, but we're gonna start with a warm up. So all you need, as I said, is this little space and the first warm up is gonna look kind of funny, but trust me, do it. I do this outside sometimes just to kind of ground myself and to actually get that energy going, get that energy flowing and get myself motivated. So if I'm not feeling like doing anything, I take myself outside if I can, if not, I'm uh, just inside at home. And I just start, ready? Tapping, all right? So let's go, we're gonna tap each area of the body. So start tapping with me, gentle taps, not too gentle, we wanna wake up. Let's go, wake up. Tell me our bodies to wake up basically. We're gonna focus on those armpits a little bit longer. Those are dormant areas of our bodies. So every little part, our chest, let's go warriors. Bellies, hips, then the back. The gentle taps. Thighs, inner thighs. Backside, 
Back of the knees, that's also another dormant area, so focus on that. Top of the feet, bottom of the feet. All right, that was one. On to the next one. We're gonna tap our chest and our lower back or the small of our back. All of the exhales are gonna be done through the nose. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. All right, let's go. Keep breathing. Envision yourself as that warrior that you are. Amazing. All right, the next one we're going to do, we're going to jump up and down. And again, keep breathing with your nose. Allow, allow those shoulders to just come up and down. All right, we're going to do about eight jumps here. We're going to do more like 10, just for everybody else that's catching up. <laughs> All right, then we're going to go into a wide stance squat here. Um, we're going to go into the squat, but first we're going to come up on our, the balls of our feet, reach up, and then, so exhale that air always through the nose, so inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose forcefully, ready, eight here. into a wider stance for lateral lunges here. Again, we're gonna breathe. Inhale at the top. Exhale through your nose as you're reaching forward. Let's go, we're gonna do four on each side. One more. Amazing. All right, again, feeling the energy going, warming up that whole body, inviting oxygen into our system. We're gonna go into a lunge. Feel free to bring that back knee onto the ground. So inhale up, exhale as you twist and push that air out to the side. All right, let's go. But we're gonna do just two on each side. Again, we're just warming up. Ready, inhale. And then onto the other side. Come back up. Amazing. All right. Last, we make sure that we got to everything that I planned for you. Yes. We're going to go into our last one, which is walkouts to upper facing dog. So starting at the bottom of the mat, lower slowly, start walking your hands out about to plank then lower your knees down chest shine your chest turn your chest forward stay here for a second back those knees down onto the ground tuck your toes and come back all the way up one more time walk those hands out to plank knees down chest chin Shine the chest forward, shoulders down from your ears, and tuck those toes, start to slowly walk back, inhale, come to standing. All right, get your water because we're about to start here. So, as I said, we're going to do seven exercises in total, we're going to work for 40 seconds, so 40 seconds on. 20 seconds rest. In the rest time, I'll be explaining to you the exercises that are coming up next and any modifications that are needed. All right, and then we're gonna do three rounds, one minute rest between each round. Ready? Let me see some thumbs up. We got some thumbs up? Yeah? <laughs> All right, so the first exercise, we haven't started yet, so Brandon, don't start it yet, is um, we're going to like a half squat, kick those legs back, and then we're going to jump up. Am I centered, Bryn? Yeah? And then jump up. Four, modification on this one. Lower as comfortably, as low as you can. Knees in the direction of second and third toe. Press those legs back. And then just give me a squat to stand. All right. 
Let's go. What do we have, about nine seconds before we start? Ten seconds? All right, if you raise the volume, and then you'll, be, you'll give me a beep. No, on the- Oh. One, oh. go. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guess who's talking? <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, let's go. All right, go into that half squat. Press those legs back, and then jump. With intention, really squeeze those glutes. Good. Again, if you're needing to modify, squat the stand. Otherwise, legs back, come up. And if you need to hold on to something, feel free to do so. Come on, let's go. And if you have the dumbbells, you can even add dumbbells here and give me some weighted jump squats. Keep going. How many more seconds do we have? Seven. Good, seven seconds. Let's go. Two. One, rest. Amazing, all right. We have forward lunge, to reverse lunge, to switch jump lunge, and then go to the other side to modify, super easy. Forward lunge, reverse lunge, come up, onto the other side, forward lunge, reverse lunge, come up. Two. One, let's go. And switch jump lunge, forward lunge, lateral lunge, to modify, forward lunge, reverse lunge, and then onto the other side, forward lunge, reverse lunge. All right, otherwise keep going. Sometimes I'm gonna have to catch my breath because it's not easy talking and doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Woo. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, amazing. I'm starting to break a sweat already. <laughs> Maybe it's just from my hair, just on my Rest. face. <laughs> Rest. Rest. Oh. All right, third exercise, lateral lunge to high knee. So take a, la uh, a wide stance, high knee, go onto the other side, high knee onto the other side to modify, break it down. One, go. Here, let's go. And I'm just gonna show the modification. For anybody that needs to modify, break it down, break the movement down. And then for everybody else, make it dynamic. Let's go. Knee in the direction of the second and third toe of that bending leg. Spine is neutral. 15 more seconds. Core is tight. Huh? 15 more seconds. 15 seconds. Let's go. And again, to modify, break it down. Three, to the other two, side. One. Ah, <laughs> not enough time. <laughs> All right, squat with crossbody knees. So squat here as a modification, stay here. To kick it up a notch, give me a little hop. Three, two, one. And let's go. Hop as the full expression. Or, take it down a notch, knee in the direction of the second and third toe as you go into the squat. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you come up. Halfway there. Keep going, keep going. Again, don't stop, modify if you have to. How many more seconds we have, Brenda? Did it pass? Three. Two, one. Now it's rest yeah. or work, okay? Rest, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Brandy's enjoying being behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so forward reaches in a plank to push up or on your knees. Forward reach, push up. Three. Two, Ready? One. Woohoo! Let's go. Forward reach and push up. Or again, on your knees, forward reach, push up. Or you can give me that forward reach in a plank, and then for the push up, go on your knees. So break it down. Or beast mode it. Halfway there. Halfway there. Let's go. 10 more again, seconds. When you get tired, Slow down, modify. Three, two, one. Amazing. Rest. All right. 
Ah, we have side to side reaches. <clears throat> All right, feet on the ground. We're gonna reach our heels. Feel free to support your head with your hands. Just don't pull Two, on your neck. One, Let's go. go. Inhale as you come to center. Exhale as you go side to side. Belly button towards the spine. Halfway there. Let's go. Halfway there. <clears throat> Keep breathing. And again, if you need to support your head, feel free to do so. Three, two, one, rest. Amazing. All right, stay on your back. We're going to do straight leg crunches with single arm leg raise. Single arm leg raise. Wow. Okay, single leg raise. <laughs> <laughs> so here, if you need to, Place your hands Two. underneath your bum to establish a low back contact. All right, let's go. So this is the full expression. But to modify, hands underneath your bum, especially if you have space between your lower back and the ground, and give me those leg raises here. Otherwise, full expression. Halfway there. Keep going. So if I stop to modify for you guys, Whoever can do the full expression of the exercise, keep doing it. And then when you get tired, modify. Three, two, two one. You get one minute rest. rest. Ooh, all right. <clears throat> the first round is always a tiny bit clunky, so that everybody gets on the same page. I am sweating already, so this goes to show you. We're doing only three rounds today, but on the, um, we raise up the new challenge, there's four rounds, 30 minutes in total. You will be drenched <laughs> in sweat. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> I like this one, we have for week one body weight workout, we have four workouts with dumbbells, all of those full body, and one ab workout, although we hit abs every day pretty much. <laughs> and then we have an active rest where you just do your own thing <laughs> on that day. But I recommend that um, even on your active rest, just go for a walk, you know, keep that body moving. Our bodies don't stop working for us, so that's... Two. We already started, are you kidding? All right. All right. <laughs> Red, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy hey, listening to you. Hey, pause that thing, we reset it now? <laughs> Yeah, we can no, reset no, no, it. Okay. okay. All right. Yes? No? We're good. All right. You reset it? Oh, wait. I don't know how to reset it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Squat. Kick back. And again, come up or just squat to standing. It's all right. All right. It's a lot smoother on the app. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's. Saturday things, you know? <laughs> How much longer? Four seconds. Three, Four seconds. Two, one. <laughs> rest. All right. The next <laughs> one is reverse to forward lunge. Yeah. Reverse. The app has a better lunge. timer than and me. Then, <laughs> yes. All right. Or for the full expression, we're going to switch jump. Lunge it. All right. We haven't started yet. Three, Three two, 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 one. one. Go. Let's go. Forward lunge, reverse lunge, switch jump lunge, or skip the switch jump lunge and just change your feet. Which foot <laughs> does the lunging? All right, again, to modify forward lunge, reverse lunge, come up and then switch. Come up, switch. Everybody else, don't stop. Give me that switch jump lunge. Woo! <laughs> Brenda, my knee. A headband. <laughs> okay. Five seconds. Let's go. Woo! Three, two, I'm strong. One, rest. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next exercise is those lateral lunges to high knees. Um, oh, 
Maybe on the one minute rest, I'll do this. <laughs> Lateral lunge, high Three, knee, and two. then on to the other side. Let's go. Keep going. <laughs> I washed my hair today, so I'm like, I'm not gonna put it up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, girls, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it gets all sweaty, so it has to be washed again. Oh, the hair problem is real. And again, for modification, just break it down and then go to the other side. Five more seconds. Amazing. Rest. All right. Squat with cross body kicks. Stay there or kick it up a notch. We haven't started yet. In five, four, three, three two, two, one. Let's go. Again, this is the full expression. We got that little jump, but skip the jump. If you're just starting out, and go into that squat and then cross body knee to elbow let's go this is it like more than halfway through our second round one more round after this keep going all right how many more seconds two, two one on your, no, actually not on your back yet. <laughs> on the ground, four. Those planks with forward reaches to push up or do it all on your knees. Ready? Woo. Three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Push up, good. And again, to modify, you can do the reaches in plank and then go into a knee push-up or just do everything on your knees. Keep that core tight. When you're in that plank, there's a straight line from your heels to the top of your head. Don't let your hips come up too high or drop too low. And if you're on your knees, there's a straight line from your knees to the top of your head. Core is tight. Three. Amazing. On your back, you're going to do those side to side reaches. Ah. All right. So your option, shoulders off the ground, belly button towards the spine, tap those heels, or support your head. Two, one. Let's go. Oh. Inhale at center. Exhale as you reach for your heels. You can even break it down. Come up, reach, come down, come up, reach. If again, just staying up with those shoulders off the ground and that gets too much. Halfway there, let's go. Breathing is important. So that's why sometimes I even exaggerate it a little bit so you guys can hear it. On your back again, we're gonna do those crunches with alternating leg raise. And again, if that's not accessible, or if you have space between your lower back and the ground, because you shouldn't, then place your hands underneath your bar. Two. Let's go. Go. Make sure that there's contact, low back to the ground at all times. Belly button towards the spine. Don't pull on your neck. Just basically support your head gently. Halfway there. Halfway there. Let's go. And again, if you need to modify, hands underneath your bum. It makes it slightly easier. It also establishes that low back contact with the ground. Keep going. We're almost there. Five more seconds. Five seconds. Three, Woo. two. Woo. Yes, all right, one minute to go before we get into our last and final round. <laughs> Ooh, this one is real, all right. 
Shall I ruin my hair and put my hair tie up? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Why does this not look good? <laughs> Just feels sticky. <laughs> Uh, it looks good no, though. I went through the effort of yeah, washing you're my right. hair this morning, so I am Fight not through. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> All right, how many more seconds do we have? We've got 22 more seconds. All right, give me 10 seconds before. Okay. Before, but um, we're gonna start with that half squat with those kickbacks and then jump up or 10 more squat seconds. Squat and standing. All right. Well, that was pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Get yeah, ready. Give me all you got right Two. here. Let's go. Three seconds. And kick back. Jump up. Good. With intention, really squeeze those glutes as you're kicking back. Keep going. Halfway there. Halfway there. We got this. Give me all. Leave all you have. Right here on this mat or the floor, whatever you're using, your couch. Although I don't know that would be really. <sighs> I don't want to work right now on the couch. Two, one, Woo! rest. Uh, <laughs> all right, we've got reverse lunge or forward lunge, reverse lunge, the switch jump lunge, or break it down. Like I said, skip the skip the jump lunge. Ready? Five. You can start? Five Three. seconds. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, forward lunge, reverse lunge, and switch jump. But again, feel free to skip the switch jump lunge. And just do forward lunge and reverse lunge, alternating your legs. Halfway there. Halfway there, let's go. Let's go. Jump lightly, balls up your feet. Try to make as little noise as possible for your neighbors downstairs. <laughs> Five seconds. Woo! Finish her up, let's go. Ah! All right. We have lateral lunges to high knee. So again, stay with like the broken down version or fully dynamic. Ah! <laughs> Three, two, All right, one, let's go. Go. I feel like I'm pushing the mat towards the wall. Am I like off center? Grin? No. Still good? Yeah, you're still good. Woo, let's go. And again, if you need to modify, Halfway break it there. down. Don't stop. I know sometimes the jumping can be a little too much, but... Keep at it. Keep up with the modified version, okay? Three, two, yes. one, rest. Woo. All right. The mat might have gone just like yeah, a tiny so bit that way. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, non slippery, slippery sleeping mats. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Squat, cross body, knee to elbow. Stay with Three, the non-dynamic version, two, or kick it up a notch. Let's go. Almost there. We're like halfway there. This final round. I hope you're doing it with me, and not just looking at the screen. <laughs> Come on. Halfway there. This is not your Saturday morning entertainment. This is your workout. Come on. Let's go. Whew. Let's go. We got this. Almost there. Whew. Three, two, yeah. one, ah. rest. Whew. All right, on the ground. My legs are feeling it. All right, we got the plank, forward reach. Ten. Push up, 10 seconds. Again, feel free to do everything on your knees or to break it down. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. So plank, forward reach. Who that was laugh. <laughs> <laughs> forward reach and push up. And again, feel free to do plank, forward reach, knee push up, or everything 
on your knees. Core is tight. Try to keep from swaying from side to side. So if you're squeezing everything tight, then you're less likely to sway. So core is tight. You squeeze your bum. Keep going. Two, one, Woo. rest. Finish that. <laughs> Last push up. All right. On your back. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Side to side reaches. And again, feel free to just support your head or break it down. One, I'm all the way go. down and then go off to the side. Let's go. Keep going. And if it gets too much, then rest, come up, tap, rest, come up, tap the other side. Or be loaded, halfway there, come on. Push, we got this. Belly button towards the spine. Don't let that belly button dome up. Or your stomach dome up, rather. Think of your belly button being pulled towards your spine. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. One more. That's it. One more exercise. And we go into our yoga cool down. <clears throat> okay. We've got those crunches with alternating leg raise. Or place your hands underneath Three, your bum. Two, Give me those leg one, raises. Go. Ready? Inhale as you lower your head to the ground. Exhale as you crunch up. Ooh, I'm feeling that core. That core is burning. Keep going. Half, more than halfway there. Probably like 10 seconds now. So let's go. All you got right here. Three, two, one. Woo. Workout complete. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. I need a, I need a towel. <laughs> That was, that's an insane amount of sweat for 20 <laughs> seconds of working out. <laughs> 20 seconds. That would be insane. 20 minutes. <laughs> that would be insane. Uh, probably not even the song I can think of that kind of a result. All right. <clears throat> We're going to go into that five minute yoga cool down. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah, get some water. <laughs> Wipe off that sweat from the mat so that you're not slipping and sliding. All right. All right, so we're going to start at the top of the mat. Hopefully I have enough room here. Let me just back up a little bit. All right. So starting at the top of the mat, feet hip distance apart. Slowly lower yourself all the way down. Grab a hold of your opposite elbows. Give me some head shakes here, yes, as a nose. Allow your chest to be fully supported by your thighs. Awesome. And then let your head let just fall on the ground. We're gonna slowly come up one vertebra at a time as you inhale, just one vertebra at a time. Head comes up last. Amazing. All right, bring your feet slightly closer to each other. Shine your chest forward. Your hands are by your side. There's energy flowing from your bottom, from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Keep a gentle, soft gaze forward. Inhale as you raise those arms up towards the sky. Look up. Give me a slight back bend to tuck the pelvis under to protect your lower back. Exhale. Bend all the way forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift, looking towards the horizon. Exhale, place those hands on the ground. And then bring the left foot back. Now we're going to inhale the right arm towards the sky. Stay here for a second. Feel that good stretch on your right glute. Bring the right hand back down. Bring the right foot to meet the left one. Here we're going to lower knees, chest, and chin. And then shine your chest forward into that upward facing dog. Good. Long neck. Tuck your toes. And let's go into the downward facing dog here. Your chest is shining towards your thighs. Long neck. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring that left foot between our hands. Inhale the left arm up towards the sky. Good. Stay here for a second. Bring the left hand back down. Bring the right foot to meet the left one. Inhale for a halfway lift, looking towards the horizon. <clears throat> Exhale, and all the way forward. Inhale, come all the way up into that gentle back bend. And exhale, arms by your side. <laughs> and we got a little friend here. Visit him, it's all right. All right, bud, go, go, go up on the couch. Go, mama. <laughs> All right, one more time. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Go into that gentle back bend. Exhale, bend all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Beautiful. Exhale, place your hands on the ground. Left foot comes back. Right foot comes back. And we're going to place those knees on the ground for tabletop here. We're going to take... The left arm, inhale it through, so thread that needle, bring your right hand overhead if you can for a gentle spinal twist here. All right, slowly come up, and then we're going to do this on the other side, so inhaling the right hand through for a spinal twist on the other side. Awesome, slowly come up. Now we're gonna walk. I'm gonna move back a little bit because I might be out of the frame. We're gonna walk our hands forward. Our hips remain on top of our knees. Here for an extended puppy pose. So stay here with your forearms or reach them even further and look forward if you can. You'll feel a great stretch here on the sides of your back on your lats. Amazing. All right, let's slowly walk those arms. Let's sit back on our heels here, catching our breath into child's pose. Amazing. Good job. All right, slowly come up and at your own pace. I'm going to sit. Bring those legs forward. Beautiful. Start to slowly lay back down. Good. Bend those knees. Try to bring that left, that right ankle on top of your left thigh. So stay here. Grab a hold, or if you can, grab a hold. Oh, it's so slippery of your left thigh. Try to gently push your left knee. Feel a good stretch again in on your glutes here. Try to straighten that left leg if you can. Good. Bring it back down. Switch. So left ankle on top of your right thigh. Again, grab a hold of your right thigh if you can. Straighten that right leg again if you can. A gentle push on that left knee. Try to keep those shoulders on the ground. Awesome. Bring both feet on the ground. Now we're going to bring the soles of our feet together for reclining goddess here and allow the knees to fall towards the ground. If you can, bring those arms overhead and grab a hold of the opposite elbow if you can. If not, just allow them to be on the side of your, on each side of your head. 
and keep breathing here. Awesome. Help yourself, help your knees come up and meet each other. Then straighten your legs out here and Shavasana. We're gonna stay here for our meditation if you want. I would suggest you stay here, close your eyes. I'm gonna come up so that I can instruct you guys. Um, but it, I would suggest that you stay in Shavasana and really take this opportunity to, to take a, a moment to just connect with your breath. What we're gonna do for our breath work and meditation, we're gonna do two rounds of breath work. The breath work is going to be through our nose. We're gonna inhale through our belly. So allow the belly to come out and then into our chest and then just allow everything to just relax with the exhale. So we're gonna do 10 slower uh, paced inhales and then we're going to speed it up double time so that's going to be the slower pace and then the faster pace will be okay we're going to hold our breath for the first round for 30 seconds so great if you can help me with the timer on your phone it's fine you don't have to do the interval timer so when I say exhale completely, and we're gonna start the timer for 30 seconds, okay? So, again, suggest you lay down. Stay laying down where you are, or if you have experience with breath work and breath holds, then you can sit up, all right? Again, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Again, you feel free to hold your with your hands, one on your belly and one on your chest to feel that breath going in and then relaxing. Ready? Let's go. Keep going. Full deep breaths. Now faster. Two more. Inhale, hold the breath, and breathe if you can start the 30 second timer. Exhale completely. Keep your eyes closed. If you don't have any clothes, we're gonna hold our breath for 30 seconds. Allow for any thoughts that might come up to just be there, don't engage with them. Allow them to float away. You might feel like you want to breathe, but you can go a little bit longer. Let me start again. And that's it. Inhale. Hold the breath for just 10 seconds. And exhale. We're going to go into our second round. And for it went only at the end of the breath words, then we're going to do 45 seconds this time. So we're okay. going to do 45 second breath hold and give us five seconds before, uh, or actually 30 second mark. All right, ready? We're going to start with, a, with another round. Again, belly, chest, out. So, okay, so 45 seconds of okay. we're done for okay. the second round, but I'm saying at the 30 second mark, just say you've done 30 okay. seconds. Okay, yeah, 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 got it, <laughs> thank you. All right, all right, ready, let's go. Double speed, now. Two more. Inhale, 
inhale, hold your breath. And then exhale, let's start the 45 second timer. Hold your breath out, hold. Stay with anything that arises. You just did 30 seconds. Let's go. 15 seconds more. You got this. You can go a little bit longer, but always feel free to breathe. And we're almost there. Take a breath, right? In. Now inhale, hold that breath, and exhale it all out. Keep breathing normally, maintain your eyes closed. For the next five minutes, we're just going to try to just develop awareness of our breath, of our normal breathing. We're going to stay with our breath. Notice it as it enters your nasal passages, as it expands your chest. And then notice when you exhale, your chest lowering, the air being slightly warmer on its way out your nose. And you maintain your eyes closed as any thoughts come. Allow for those thoughts to just drift away. Imagine you're watching. Imagine those thoughts being clouds in the sky that are just passing. Try not to engage with those thoughts. Try to allow them to just drift away just as they came by. Don't judge those thoughts. Don't judge yourself. Meditation is not necessarily to completely be empty-minded, to empty our mind, but it's rather to develop awareness. try to stop our thoughts from occurring during meditation and that just or emotions or whatever may arise and but that just creates more thinking more frustration anger but if we just with a smile in our face acknowledge that oh a thought popped up okay I'm just gonna let that pass just with curiosity, allowing for whatever arises to, to be there, is there for a reason and allow it to pass. If you want, bring that attention between your eyebrows. Stay with your breath. Be in the here and now. Any thoughts about the future or the past come up? Again, let them gently go. Ourselves. So bring your hands together on your heart. Thank yourself for this beautiful 
practice today for a warm up, for the workout, for the yoga, and for just breath work and meditation that we just did together. I wish you all to be happy, healthy, and free. Wish that for yourself and wish that for everybody in the world. May everybody in the world be happy, healthy, and free. Rub your hands together, generate some heat. Keep your eyes closed and place your hands on top of your eyes. Gently open your eyes. And welcome back. All right, for the next few minutes, you might want to just take a nap. <laughs> I don't know, but if you have any questions, we'll be taking a few questions. Bryn will read them out to me, and, um, and I'll let you go about your amazing Saturday. Hope you enjoyed it today. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a live, um, so I might have felt a little, a little clunky, but um, we'll do that more, and they'll flow easier, and on the app, they're just amazing. <laughs> uh, there's no clunkiness there, but go ahead. If there is any questions, if there isn't, on the count of five. <laughs> is there, there's so many questions that Bryn just can't keep up with them. <laughs> Bryn, make up a question. I know. Do you want to first maybe talk about like how the exercises that you just did and like the flow you just did mm -hmm. um, relates to the challenge on the app? Oh, it's the exact same thing. We just did a shorter version today. So in the app, there is um, a five minute wor warm up similar to what we did. There is uh, actually a 30 minute workout because it's a little bit longer, but again, you feel free to do one round, two rounds, three rounds, or all four rounds, whatever you have time for. And then we have the yoga cool down after that, that's five minutes as well. And then we have the breath work and meditation, which is a little bit longer. Um, and everything is timed. You'll see little pop up screens for like what exercise is coming up next. So it flows very well. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of it's basically my favorite challenge is because it incorporates all of these modalities that uh, that uh, are so beneficial um, and a lot of the time we want to fit in you know we want to fit in breath work and meditation and workout and yoga and how do we do that like time is limited so we thought to just bring them to you in this like short format that you can that you can do in, uh, in, in less than an hour you can do all of these things <laughs> Love it. All right. Um, and you've talked about the the challenge and how that the meditation and workout are both part of the three daily commitments. Someone's wondering if you could talk a little bit about the screen free eating part of the yeah. challenge. Yeah, absolutely. So I call it screen free mindful eating. So screen free is not having your TV um, in front of you while eating. It's not having your phone and texting or or watching whatever uh, on your phone is just completely focusing on the meal that you're consuming and being with it each bite. And when we're present, we're less likely to overeat and then we are more likely to just enjoy our meal more and have it be more satisfying. And we connect with this, um, with our food that is actually, you know, if you think about it, it becomes us. This food that we have in front of us, this gets processed and it becomes a part of us. So how amazing is it to be with yourself, basically, <laughs> before um, consuming your food? Um, yeah, so there's so many benefits. These are studied benefits, actually, to, to mindful eating. Love it. And can you do this at home? And is it possible to switch between the gym training in the app and the challenge? Yeah, you can do this from anywhere. So if you want to do it at home, at the beach, at the park, <laughs> Um, I, I, you know, sometimes I take a light pair of dumbbells with me even when I go away or um, there's body weight uh, workouts. You can even perform all of the, all of the um, workouts on this particular challenge, body weight, really. But yeah, you can switch between the challenge and the program because you get access to all of the programs in the app. Everything that's in the app, it's not like you're buying just the challenge. It's not like you're signing up just for the challenge. You get access to everything. Um, yeah, yeah. Love it. Someone's asking how often you normally train in a day. In a day? Just once in a day. <laughs> I don't train multiple times a day. And that's usually, um, it's, it's similar to the gym workouts on the We Rise app. That's exactly how I train. 
um, the six day training actually. So I, I'll do <coughs> uh, exactly that, the training that's on the We Rise app, the advanced gym training on the We Rise app. And it's about like from 45 minutes to an hour, uh, I'll max work out an hour and a half on like a leg day that I'm, when I'm really feeling it. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Love it. And then uh, someone else asked, is there a rest day in the challenge? Yes, there is a full active rest day that you can choose to just do, um, just go on for a walk. I suggest that you go for a walk, do uh, whatever class that you want that is not high impact or very um, intense. And then there is an ab day. So it's just while every day includes ab exercises, there is one particular day, there's just an ab day. That's like an ab active rest day. So kind of like two active rest days. One is fully rest if you so choose it to be. Does it make sense? All right, so there's yeah. like two full body with dumbbells, one full body with body weight, then there is an ab workout, then there is, yeah, does that make sense? And then there is two. <laughs> <laughs> How many days are in the week? <laughs> I'm joking. And then two, two, so it's a total of four full body with dumbbells, one um, body, full body, body weight. There is an ab workout specifically, and that's only 20 minutes. And then there is a full like active rest or whatever, just rest if you want to rest. Although I suggest to take a long walk. Do something active. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to do like one or two more? Sure, yeah, if we have um, How, someone, well, I lost my question. How many days a week do you work out? Do you work out? Did, you, did I ask you that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I said similar to the um, six-day advanced training that you can choose to do. Um, yeah, so I'll do the six-day workout. Yeah, that's my okay. ideal workout. Um, for, Is it better yeah. to train in the morning or in the evening? Whatever you feel best uh, and whatever you can, so if you're feeling like you're energized in the morning, if you feel like um, you can fit it in the morning versus in the afternoon, it's all about where when you think it's best for you and your schedule and when you can actually stay with it, stick with it and be consistent with it. Um, there is no, there's no rule that you need to work out in the morning or in the afternoon. What, what I suggest though, if you're just start starting out, and when I started out a long time ago, um, I would do it in the morning, so I wouldn't leave it up to chance in the afternoon, because life happens, you know, work happens, children happen, and unpredictables happen, but in the morning you're more likely to just get it done, get it out of the way, so to speak, and then uh, go on about your day, but again, so it comes down to what is it better for you, your energy level, for your, for your schedule, um, and all of those things, so. Awesome, do you have a favorite cheat meal? <laughs> I like see that. people ask that I don't necessarily do cheat meals because if I like to eat something, I'll include it in my, in, you know, not, not every day, so I'm not eating, you know, pizza every day or um, pasta every day, like I'll, I'll I'll have it if I if I wanted to, but uh, and I'll not over overindulge. But I don't, I don't necessarily like yeah because I don't think of things as, as cheap meals or like as bad things. So then I don't feel like I uh, I'm like craving something that's that's not good for me. I think also because I've trained because mentally now I look at food as like is this gonna do good to me or is this gonna harm me? Is this beneficial? for my body and my mind. So when I think of like over consuming pancakes, for example, I'm like, what am I putting really in my body? So my body doesn't really crave it, you know? Um, you know, once I'll, I'll have it, I'll have it once in a while, but it's not like I crave it because it's, it's become so much about um, wanting to take care of my body and my mind. Yeah. Love it. I think that but my favorite thing to, to snack on that's sweet at night has been lately, it's been dates and almond butter. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> if that's even a, uh, a cheat meal. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you being here with me today. If you guys 
like this, let me know. Please let me know, because that's the only way I'm going to keep on doing this. <laughs> Otherwise, if I don't hear from you, I need to hear from like at least 500 of you. <laughs> if I don't reach 500, like do this again, that's it, I'm not doing it. I'm joking. Joking, not joking. <laughs> All right, bye. I love you guys.